great. It's skill space. Exciting. It's scary. The best. Asha is amazing. There are 1.1 million workers in the hotel and restaurant industry in the Philippines alone, 9.5 million in Europe, and 212 million in the United States. Vast investments have been made in construction of local assets in the country. Pacor Entertainment City, Boracay Equestrian Club, Misibis Bay, Belyaroca Resorts, and the Balasin Island Club in Quezon and a noteworthy surge in foreign hotel ventures. Marriott Group of Hotels, Raffles and Fairmont Hotel, Holiday Inn, Ritz-Carlton, Movin' Peak Hotels, Discovery Primea, and recently, Marco Polo. This then positions hospitality as the world's fastest growing industry and an impending and stable means of moving up and forward both for the Philippines and the Filipinos. This sets the gauge of a feasible, impressive economic growth. The Asian School of Hospitality Arts, the only hotel school in the country, is tailored to fit the demands of the hospitality industry. It is strongly founded by its competent core courses, Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management, Bachelor of Science in Tourism, and Bachelor of Science in Entrepreneurship and made stronger by its intricate and specific career-driven programs professional cooking with certificate in hotel and restaurant operations barista with certificate in hotel and restaurant operations certificate in professional cooking series diploma in hospitality management management in accounting and soon specialized butler service Implementing a uniquely Filipino hospitality culture and teaching paradigm is Asha's lifeblood, a faculty roster comprised of seasoned hotel years and veterans who have had years of industry experience both here and abroad. Asha prides itself with its Earn and Learn program, which holds a strong affinity between education and employment, making it possible to extend both quality education and a stable source of living across more than 7,100 islands. Wisely situated in various locations in the country, Asha simulates and imparts actual training in hotel grounds. Further empowering the institution are its notable partners, TESDA, Commission on Higher Education, Tagaytay Highlands, Manila Ocean Park, Waterfront Manila Pavilion Hotel, Hotel H2O and Manila Oceanarium, the Island Cove Hotel and Leisure Park, Cravings, C2 Classic Cuisine, Seven Suites Hotel Observatory, the Orange Place Hotel, and the Center for Culinary Arts Manila. Over the years, Asha has witnessed dreams being brought to life. Kareen Pastor and Joshua Delio are cooks at Ritz-Carlton, Florida, USA. John Jester Cruz, food and beverage staff at Royal Caribbean Cruise Liner. Jay-Z Mendonez, bartender in Singapore. Jeff Patriarca, baker in Dubai. Over the years, Asha has taken the Filipino dream to the world. The Asian School of Hospitality Arts. The home of the future global hospitality leaders. Good evening, mga estudyante. Welcome to another episode of Asha Escuela. Brought to you by Asha, free education online. Ako nga pala si Dr. Angie Blanco, din ng Asha, Asian School of Hospitality Arts sa Antipolo. And today, tayo ay matututo ng magkakasama. Ang ating episode today ay tungkol sa bartending. Balik tayo sa bartending, no? Balik tayo sa bartending. So, ang topic natin ngayon ay classification of beverages. So, today, meron tayong guest, si Sir Nelson Navarro. Isang batikang... Isang batikang... Bartender. Bartender. Siya ngayon ay nasa... Siya ngayon ay nasa... Vikings Cruise Ship. Vikings Cruise Ship. So nasa cruise ship ngayon. So, nasa cruise ship ngayon. 
uh, crossing the Atlantic uh, crossing Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean. Yes. Papunta. Papunta. So, kumusta na, Sir Nelson? Ma'am Angie, good morning. Good morning po sa inyo lahat, mga students. And uh, gaya po na sabi ni Ma'am Angie, nandito po ako on board the Viking Star. So, right now, we're, we're in the uh, middle of the Atlantic Ocean. We're heading to uh, uh, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, for in preparation of our world cruise next couple of weeks or first week of October. Wow, nasa wow, aboard nasa the cruise ship si cruise Sir, ship. Sir yes. Nelson. So right Nelson. now it's right around the uh, 8:45 uh, in the morning po. So Okay, umpisa. Okay, umpisa. Hmm. Umpisa na natin Sir umpisa Nelson. Umpisa na natin Sir Nelson. Yes, uh, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Good morning students. Welcome to Asia Asian School of Hospitality Arts and for tonight episode we'll be discussing about the beverage classification. But before that, uh, let's start with the ILO or our intended learning outcome. For tonight, at the end of this session or episode, the participants should be able to know the types of beverages, know the types of uh, alcohol, and uh, know the different alcohol strength, and at the same time, the whole uh, entire classification of beverages. So just I'll give you a little uh, briefly uh, introduction of our beverage classification. Well, for tonight, uh, we will learn what are the different kinds of beverage classification. As we all know, uh, there are two classifications, the alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages. So this time, we will identify or classify it kung anong drinks yung belong ang isang inumin. It should be a uh, alcoholic or uh, non-alcoholic, uh, cocktails or uh, mocktails. So malalaman din natin sa gabing ito yung uh, paano nagkakaroon ng alcohol o ano yung alcohol strength ng isang uh, spirit o paano siya nagagawa through what process, either a fermentation process or through a distillation process. So we will discuss in this uh, episode kung paano nakakaroon ng alcohol ang isang wine, ang isang beer, or ang isang spirit kung saan siya nakaklassified. Either distillation ba or uh, fermentation. So with this episode, we will also discuss about the strength of the alcohol and uh, ano-ano ba yung mga, para natin malalaman kung ano yung, ano yung alcohol content or ano yung uh, percentage ng alcohol sa isang uh, bottle. So before we consume the uh, the uh, bottle of beer or bottle of wine, we should first uh, start to uh, uh, check or see to it that how many alcohol content yung ating iniinom o yung ating kukonsume. So all of that will be uh, covered in our uh, topic for this, for this afternoon or tonight. Okay, to start with... Okay. By the way, my name is Nelson Navarro. I'll be your uh, bartending instructor. I am a bona fide member of uh, Philippine Bartenders League, the organization of all bartenders in the Philippines. And at the same time, I'm the uh, 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 affiliated uh, member of the IBA or the International Bartenders Association. So more or less 15 to 7 years uh, work experience working in the cruise line industry. So let's start now with our uh, first topic, the, the beverage classification. So discuss will be uh, the types of beverages. What are the types of beverages? As I mentioned a while ago, there are two uh, types of beverages, the alcoholic beverages and the non-alcoholic beverages. So let's start with the alcohol beverages. So ano ba yung mga alcohol beverages o yung mga inumin na merong uh, alcohol? Okay, kung bakit tayo nalalasing. Ano nga ba ito? Uh, alcohol beverage is uh, any potable or drinkable liquid containing with ethyl alcohol. It may have a little as one half percent by volume or are high as 80%. So kaya tayo nagkakaroon ng uh, natawag na kaya tayo nagkakaroon ng uh, alcohol sa katawan o yung alcohol na iintik natin pag uminom tayo ng beer, ng wine or ng any spirits they call it as ethyl alcohol. 
So the type of beverages like a cocktail, beer or wine or any spirit gin vodka, they are belong to the uh, classification of beverage to the alcohol beverage. Okay, so next we will go to the non-alcoholic beverages. So ito naman yung kabaligtaran, mga inumin na walang alcohol. So kung meron tayong cocktail, this time they call it mocktails o yung walang walang alcohol yung ating uh, drinks. So the real meaning of non-alcoholic beverages is a alcohol-free or non-alcoholic drink uh, known as temp uh, temperance drink. It is a version of the non-alcohol. It is a version of the alcoholic drink. So ito yung kabaliktaran ng uh, may alcohol. If we have a beer like beer uh, like uh, sa Pil Pilsen or uh, San Miguel, five percent alcohol. So meron din naman mga beer na no alcohol. So meaning it's a non-alcoholic beer. So zero percent alcohol. Okay. So marami ah. So may kasama na din yung uh, water, yung ating uh, milk tea, yung uh, uh, special coffee without alcohol. So that are the example of the alcoholic juices and soft drink sodas. Okay. Now we go to the uh, next topic will be the types of alcohol. So ano ba itong mga types of alcohol natin? As I mentioned a while ago, no, isa-isay natin yan. So there are three kinds of alcohol. Okay. So let's start with the methyl alcohol or methanol. So methanol comes from wood. Okay? Cannot be drink at is, it is taken kill at is, it is killed by taken. So ito yung uh, kind of alcohol na nakita natin sa sa wood. So normally uh, we consider it we, we consider it as a poison. So if, if we intake this alcohol, it can cause us death, no? Pwede pwede tayong ikamatay kung tayo magko-consume nitong klase ng uh, alcohol na to. Is the methanol. Then the other one is the ethyl alcohol, or they call it as ethanol. So what is ethanol? So ethanol obtained from grains, fruits with sugar content. It also can be consumed if taken in moderate amount. And the alcohol found in alcoholic drinks. So ito yung ano? Ito yung uh, dahilan kung bakit ng isang tao ay uh, uh, nalalasing or nagkakaroon ng uh, okay alcohol because of taking of the ethyl alcohol or the ethanol. So ito yung alcohol na nakikita natin sa isang uh, bote ng beer o sa bottle of wine or sa pag-inom natin ng cocktails, yung mixed, mixed drinks. Because mixed drinks compose of uh, base spirit, some liqueurs and juices. So ayan yung alcohol na nakikita natin doon sa cocktail drinks. They call it as uh, ethanol. Okay? So, of course, we have to consume it always moderate. No? So, so, kung maparami ang pag-inom natin, uh, we can cause uh, intoxicated. No? Magiging ano tayo, magkakaroon tayo ng uh, alcohol, ng marami alcohol sa katawan. It cause for uh, intoxication. So, the other, the next one will be the isopropyl. Okay? The alcohol used for making perfumes. So isopropyl like yung uh, rubbing alcohol, yung ating ginagamit sa pag disinfect ng ating kamay, at the same time yung paggagawa ng perfume. Those, uh, those kind, those, those, uh, this kind of alcohol is used, uh, are called for isopropyl alcohol. So yan no, may tatlo tayong klase ng alcohol. Is the methanol or uh, methyl, methyl alcohol, ethanol or uh, ethyl alcohol and last is the isopropyl. So yung ginagamit na nakikita natin alcohol sa isang spirit, isang inumin, ayan na yung tinatawag na ethyl or ethanol, ethyl alcohol. Okay, next. So, let's go to the Next topic, the uh, alcohol beverage or the alcohol strength. No? Nakikita natin sa isang, uh, sa isang bote or they call it uh, fruit. No? Ito yung makikita natin sa bote. Let's say for, for example, meron tayong bote ng uh, isang spirits like gin or vodka. So may kita natin yung uh, kano ba kataas yung alcohol content ng isang bote, ng isang, uh, isang spirits or ng isang isang bote ng gin. Okay? 
they will they will be uh, uh, known or yung tinatawag natin fruit. Okay, may kita sa bote ng isang spirit o sa bote ng isang alak, yung tinatawag na fruit. Ano ba yung fruit? Fruit is the form of measurement in the strength of the alcohol beverages. So, most of the battle, may kita natin yung fruit doon sa ilalim, uh, lower part of the label of the spirits, no? But there are three kinds of, uh, or there are three ways in expression of alcohol content. So, unahin muna natin yung uh, uh, United States, no? Through, through America. They have the USAP, okay? Or the American fruit. Okay? They have the, in the United States, they are, they, they are classified for the alcohol strength doon sa tinatawag, na, tinatawag nilang American fruit. Then, number two, yung uh, Sykes or the British way, yung degree fruit. May kita natin yung uh, sa lower part of the bottle, uh, the British way, they call it Sykes, no? Degree fruit naman yung, ano, yung para maklasify din yung alcohol content. So, the lastly, yung uh, gay lusa is the French way, or they call it uh, yung parang percentage. Percent. Percent of alcohol. Normally, may kita natin 40%. So, pag nakakita tayo na sa alcohol, sa, alcohol, sa isang uh, bote ng uh, gin or vodka or brandy, whatsoever, what kind of spirits, may kita natin yung 40% alcohol content. So, 40, so, pag tinimes 2 mo siya, so, 40 times 2 is equivalent to 80. That will be converting from percentage to uh, fruit. Okay? So, may kita natin, yung fruit, 80%. So, pag convert natin sa gay lusak, sa French way, so, 80 divided by 2 equals 40. So, that will be 40% naman yung uh, magiging uh, alcohol content niya. So, some bottles, they have a uh, uh, they have uh, put it in the label 80, for 80, 80 fruit or 40% uh, percent alcohol. So, may mga ibang battle na ganyan. No? Meron silang classified na nakalagay na 80 fruit or 40% uh, percent alcohol content. So, the perfect example in our illustration, may kita natin yung picture number one, yung uh, American, yung fruit, yung bote ng uh, whiskey, yung warming, Okay, the perfect example of the fruit. Yung number two picture naman, yung uh, bote ng um, Gomor, may kita natin yung degree fruit. Okay, the sites or the British way for them to, uh, to classify it or to uh, uh, consider the alcohol content. They call it fruit. So yung number three naman, picture number three, yung bote ng Hendrix, okay, naka-circle dyan, naka-red circle. May kita natin yung uh, percent, okay, percent of alcohol content. Okay. That's the gay lusak or French uh, way to determine the alcohol content. Okay, that will be the perfect sample para makita natin or ma-identify natin kung paano kataas yung alcohol na ating iku-consume o uh, iku-consume natin yung alcohol, gano'ng kataas yung kanilang alcohol content sa isang bote. Okay, next. Okay, so... Paano nga ba nagkakaroon ng ano? Paano nga nagkakaroon ng alak o paano nagkakaroon ng uh, paano nagagawa ang isang uh, gin, paano nagagawa ang beer, paano nagagawa ang wine? Actually, there are two process no sa paggawa ng uh, paggawa nitong uh, alcohol ato paano siya nagkakaroon. So either the process of fermentation or the process of distillation. So this time we will uh, uh uh, tackle about the uh, information kung ano nga ba itong fermentation. So, normally, fermentation, okay, ano ba yung mga piniferment? Uh, yung iniinom nating beer, yan, it's a process of fermentation. Yung mga iniinom nating wines, red wine, white wine, it's also the process of fermentation. Ano nga ba itong fermentation? Okay, uh, fermentation is the process of gradual decomposition of organic compounds induced by the action of a living organism by enzyme or chemical agent, especially the conversion of glucose into ethyl alcohol. So, paano nga ba nangyari ito? So, so, normally, pag sinabi natin na uh, fermentation, ito yung tinatawag na literal na salita na pag-iimbak. Okay? Iniimbak siya or pinipreserve or iniimbak sa isang malaking uh, fermented bat. Okay? Uh, lalagyan siya ng uh, okay as we uh, try to 
the grains or let's say for example yung ating uh, grains or yung cereals they will uh, 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 convert it to a liquid or to uh, to a little form to become uh, uh, cereals to be grains no then they will gonna put the yeast or but, but before yeast they're gonna put some enzyme for the chemical reaction ano ba tong enzyme na to so enzyme is the one convert the starch into sugar Okay? So, at the same time, ang function ng uh, enzyme is to speed up the chemical reaction or they call it as biological catalyst. So, they're the one who are converting the starch into sugar. Okay? After that, uh, uh, through the process of fermentation, we're gonna, they're going to put the yeast. Okay? Ano po ba itong yeast? Ang yeast, eh, it, it is the microorganism that uh, responsible for the whole fermentation okay the yeast is the the yeast metabolizes the sugar extracted from grains which produce alcohol and carbon dioxide uh, in my uh, illustration to the to the illustration example i show you the fermentation in biology okay okay para mas madali maintindihan so yung uh, grains Okay, yung ating ferment, yung ating grains should be uh, yan siya, pipinuhin siya. Okay? So after siya mapino, uh, the enzyme will be will be added. Okay? To convert the starch into a uh, sugar. Then after that, the, 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 they added the yeast, no? Okay? As you show to the picture, sugar plus yeast is equivalent to uh, fermentation, but because of the fermentation bath, okay, lalagyan natin sa isang malaking fermented, fermented bath, then they cover it, okay, para ma-eliminate yung oxygen. So, super, so the price of fermentation should be, the oxygen should be uh, eliminated. So, so, by covering up our fermented bath, and the oxygen will be eliminated, and carbon dioxide will be uh uh form no because of the carbon dioxide and the perfect com the perfect uh, cycle will be completed to have this alcohol on the fermentation so as, as we can as you can see in our uh, illustration you can see the fermented bat so that's the simply uh, explanation of what is the fermentation meaning okay so next the next will be the distillation so ano naman tong distillation so normally sa distillation process ayan yung mga gin vodka tequila uh, cognac or uh, brandy whiskey so these are the spirits na dumadaan sa classification ng uh, distillation process so, ano naman tong distillation? Okay, distillation is an, in distillation of all the spirits. It is the process in which fermented beverage is heated and evaporation takes place. Then subsequently, the condensing the vapor into liquid. So, as you can see in our illustration, we may kita natin dyan, no? Parang, ano, ang perfect, ano to, as a simple, a simple explanation, it's like a... Uh, it's like a cycle of uh, uh, condensing and evaporation. So, yung uh, ating uh, fermented liquid should be boiled, okay? It should be boiled into a 78% or higher than alcohol, high, higher than boiling point, okay? So, it will be uh, put in a pot still, okay? Let it boil until uh, it reach the uh, until uh, reach the uh, entire uh, the the boiling point degrees. So, habang ano siya, habang uh, pinaiinitan siya, okay, the alcohol vapor will goes up, okay. So, yung usok niya, okay, will will proceed or will pass to the coil, okay. Then after that, this coil have coated with the cold, uh, cold um, coil procedure, which is the vapor na dumadaan dun sa ating uh, coil, 
will be melted. Okay? So yung vapor na mainit na mainit, so pag dumaan siya dun sa ating uh, coil na it's a little bit cold, so the vapor will be uh, goes uh, formed into liquid. So that liquid is the uh, alcohol. Okay? So that alcohol is already known as the ethanol. So as I mentioned a while ago, kumbaga is uh, pakukuluan natin yung ating uh, fermented liquid or fermented grains, fermented uh, uh, juice or pag grapes or uh, or any fruits. Then pag na-reach na yung uh, certain boiling uh, average certain point, okay, but it will create a vapor, then dadaan siya sa cooling coil. That vapor will be converted into liquid. And that liquid is already uh, 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 called the uh, alcohol, okay, the hundred percent or uh, pure alcohol. So that will be uh, called ethyl alcohol. Okay, that's yung, yung process proseso ng atit na tawag na distillation process. Okay, next. Yan. Okay. Yan yung ating uh, uh, barko. I'm working in a biking uh, biking star. So, ayun yung uh, perfect example ng ating uh, picture. Okay. The entire operation or the entire, pic, the entire bar. We call it up a bit bar. So, ito naman yung ating uh, top view tsaka side view ng, uh, ng Aquabit bar. That, that, ba that bar is located uh, in deck number 7 of our vessel. So, uh, normally yung bar na yan is converted into a uh, open open terrace bar. So, we will open the, the door so for easy access to our uh, infinity pool. So this bar is already considered as one of our busiest bar on board. So ito yung tinatawag natin front bar. If you try to uh, remember yung mga previous, uh, previous uh, uh, episode natin, we we are uh, tackle the different uh, the the three kinds or three parts of the bar. So ito yung tinatawag na front bar. So where you can found the uh, the bar stool, front bar is the place where the bartender uh, uh, serving the drinks to the guests. So that's the uh, front bar. So ito naman yung under bar. So ayun yung uh, tinatawag natin speed rock or speed rail. So nakikita natin dyan yung mga fast moving items na kakailanganin ng isang bartender sa pag-mix ng alak. Okay, sa pag-mix ng cocktails. So, speed rock. So, nandun yung mga standard gin, vodka, brandy, tequila, triple sec, martinis, dry and sweet martini. Under this under bar also, you can see also in our illustration kung ano naman yung mga fridge, no? under the fridge, yung mga laman ng fridge namin. So, makikita natin yung different kinds of beers. Okay, under the beer, the beer Bill Fridge. So, makita natin different kinds of beer. So, meron kami dyan uh, Budweiser, American beer. Meron kami Italian beer, Ferroni. Meron kami yung Mexican beer, De Corona. And some uh, selected items ng mga dark beers and ales. At the same time, sa other bar, nandiyan din yung aming uh, wine fridge. So, assorted uh, wines. So, white wine should be put in the chiller. So, we have also rosé wine. And other selections of uh, different wines. Okay, that's a part of the under bar. So back bar, so if you can see to our illustration, back bar is the place where you can see the displays, bottle, uh, spirits, or uh, fancy glasses. So nandyan, yung parang ating uh, wow, bottle display. So you will see most of the uh, spirits we serve on board, down to vodka, tequila, cognac, uh, gin, vodka, and different kinds of uh, liquors. So, yan yung aming uh, beer station naman. So, we're serving, uh, we're serving uh, draft beer. So, 
build station. So that will be our uh, draft beer. Okay. And coffee machine. Okay, coffee station. So uh, the bar also serving coffee. Like for example, yung ating uh, cappuccino. If the guests wanted to have uh, latte or uh, espresso or americano. So it's a heavy purpose uh, coffee machine. So we can make also a uh, cafe uh, macchiato or either hot chocolates. So it's all for it's all purpose heavy duty coffee machine. So for hot drinks, no. So we can serve the guests if they wanted to have their uh, espresso or either cappuccino or latte or flavored cafe mocha or uh, cafe uh, hazelnut coffee. So yeah. So this one, no? the uh, bar tools and equipment. So ito yung mga, uh, may kita yung equipments or tools na ginagamit natin which the previous episodes, we also uh, discussed about the different kinds of bar tools. So nandiyan yung ating mga mixer, yung uh, Boston shaker, yung uh, jigger, the measurement we use for mixing the cocktails. We have the strainer, we have the blender, in uh, making our famous piña colada, we, we use our blender and some uh, condiments for making uh, Bloody Mary. We have the uh, salt and pepper, Tabasco, and the Worcestershire sauce. So, stirrer, bar spoon, and strainers. And yung ating mga bar tools and equipment. So next, no, this will be the setup of the uh, restaurant, or we call it the bar, uh, a buffet restaurant. So sa bar na yan, uh, on the other, uh, the, the both side, it's uh, called the uh, buffet restaurant, where they have the uh, setup. So they have the roll up, okay. So they have the spoon and the, the cutlery, the spoon, the knife. So they roll up with the napkins. So the waiter is the one, the dining waiter is the one who is responsible for setting up the uh, restaurant. So that, that is our uh, uh, buffet restaurant on board. We call it a uh, World Cafe. Okay. That's it for tonight. And I hope uh, marami kayo natutunan sa ating uh, topic for, for tonight about the beverage classification. So until next week, uh, for now, while uh, saying goodbye, this is Nelson Navarro saying goodbye until next week. I hope uh, there will be a lot of more, more classification we will discuss next week. Probably we will start uh, classify the gin, vodka, the, uh, actually the wine. We will start the wine for next week. Okay, thank you very much and have a nice uh, evening and have a pleasant uh, evening for everybody and stay safe for everybody. Okay, thank you very much, okay, Sir Nelson. Napakarami much, Sir nating, Nelson. Napakarami nating natutunan ngayong gabi. Oh, okay, so don't forget okay, so to don't forget sign up the attendance to sign up the today. Attendance. So next week, makita-kita tayo ulit, no? 6 p.m. Friday. Marami pa tayong kaalaman, mga lessons para sa inyo. Again, ako si Dean Angie Blanco ng Asia Eskwela. Tulong-tulong tayo para mapakaalaman. Tandaan, sa Asia, may pag-asya. See you next week. Goodbye!